Hi, and welcome back to the Women's Rugby Show. Hello. We're here on episode two, bringing you all the action from Women's Rugby. We bring you the opinions and thoughts of all those people closest to the game. Before we go any further, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss a moment. I'm Becky Chapman, and this is Adam Zolte. So we are here today at the Richmond Athletic Ground for a bottom half of the table battle between Richmond FC and Worcester Valkyries. Now stick around because a little bit later on in the show we're going to be interviewing players from both sides and hopefully we'll be grabbing uh, a few seconds to chat with Worcester Valkyries director of rugby Roy Davies to talk about his plans for the side and also how he's managed to build up this team. But straight on to today's game. There are two sides here which uh, really need to get a result today. Yeah. <laughs> you think the home team would have the advantage but they've had some real bad injury problems recently. Yeah. Um, influential hooker Alice Soper. She's yeah. out for the long term. Yeah, three which, to ten months. It could be. Yeah, it could be with an Achilles. Yeah. Um, which means that Hannah Luffy makes her first start at hooker for this season, and it's not just in the pack where they've had to reshuffle. It's out in the backs as well. So the back three, uh, Ollie Davies has had to move to 15, so that Welsh international winger Alicia McGomish goes in at 14, and on the other wing is uh, Emily Helgren, who she's actually scored uh, three tries in her last two games, so she could be a danger to the home yeah. side. Okay, so now on to Worcester Valkyries, and you think with them being bottom of the table, it's going to be a hard task for them today. Yeah. However, they made a couple of new signings in the last couple of weeks. So the first one is uh, Welsh international sevens player Alex Callender. Exciting signing. Very, very. She can play yeah. as a flanker. She was signed this week from Scarlet, so she's going straight into the starting lineup. And we're here to bring a reaction to her debut. Yeah, hopefully we, we can grab her after the game. Um, but she's not the only one. So the week before that, Bet Clough, she's an Australian. She was signed and she also makes her, her debut today, as well as her, her second row uh, uh, teammate, uh, that's Lindsay O'Donnell. She's a Scotland international. So there's quite a lot of new bodies in yeah. the pack, hopefully to, to, to beef it up. bolster and hopefully get them off the ball. Yeah, definitely. And I think luckily for them as well, Jada Bailey returns from injury. She's been out for quite a while. She's really, really uh, quick on the wing, so watch out for her. But unfortunately, still no Lydia Thomas. She was injured in the England Internationals, uh, the Autumn Internationals, a few weeks back. So there you go. Those are the lineups, and it's, I don't think it's a foregone conclusion today. No, and, and as we were both saying just off camera, that both teams are suffering with injury setbacks. Yep. Um, Worcester made the bottom of the table, but as you discussed, they've bolted their squad, you know, in a bid to try and get some points. But the third thing to throw in the mix is when these teams met in round three, Richmond won at Worcester. Yeah, it was their first win of the season. Yeah, so I think it could go either way today. Go on, you're first. Oh, you're making me go first. <laughs> All right, well, look. We like to make bold predictions here we on the, the Women's Rugby Show. I think we predicted before the weekend that Quinns would beat Loughborough, and they did. Yeah. So I'm actually going to go out on a limb again, and I'm going to say, I'm going to predict that the Valkyries are going to get their first win of the season today. Is that because they're trading right behind you, Adam? Yeah, but I'm a little bit scared that if anyone hears me, <laughs> they'll come over and give me what for. But I'm going I'm to say Valkyries win. What about you? Okay. I'm going to go with Richmond. I'm going to get their third win of the season. They've got home advantage. Third win in a row. Yeah, sorry, sorry, my bad. Third consecutive win, yep, yeah. Yep, yep. Um, yeah, I think they could be on a bit of a roll. Home advantage. Um, they've probably got a bit of a boost knowing that Worcester are bottom of the table. Yep. But they can't get complacent. Nope. That's something that, you know, that could, you know, flip the game in Worcester's favour if Richmond get complacent. So, I am going to go for Richmond, but I think it could be a close game. Agree. So, you've heard what Adam and I think. And make sure you do let us know across social media what you think. But let's go and see what the fans think. Go on then, let's go. Let's do it. Okay, so managed to accost one of the Richmond fans. What's your name? Elliot. Elliot, brilliant. And are you here to see anyone specific? Got any favourite players? Oh, the whole team, but uh, my girlfriend's wearing 14 today, I think, or 11. I think 14. <laughs> um, she seems to switch about a bit, so um, yeah, I'll be cheering her on. So she's a winger? She's a winger, yeah. Brilliant. Uh, so, Richmond, I take it you've seen them quite a lot this season? Um, not as much as I probably should have, <laughs> considering my girlfriend plays. No, I try and get down for the home games. Um, so I come down as much as I can, if I've got a spare weekend. Sure. Down. It's not been a great season for them so far, has it? No, roll back three weeks and it was dreadful. Um, last couple of weeks have been much better. So um, I think maybe I've jinxed it because I didn't come to the last two games. They've won them both. So, um, but no, look, look, I think they've stepped up um, in the last couple of weeks. They need to uh, keep improving. Um, but it's making the small uh, adjustments every week, I think, and it seems to be working. So, what, what has been responsible for that change? 
Um, I think a lot of it was mindset because I was coming down here in the early weeks of the season and they were they were playing well but they weren't putting teams away. Um, so I think a lot of it's belief. Um, you know they've they've clearly got the skill set. Um, you know they seem like a, a together team but they just weren't putting the teams away. A lot of basic errors which they seem to have uh, stamped out. So hopefully continue that for the back end of the season and uh, yeah we'll see where they finish. It should be a good one. Uh, so you said that your your girlfriend was a winger. It doesn't. It was not uh, Emily Helgren, is it? It is actually. Yeah, Emily Helgren, the Swedish superstar. Okay. And <laughs> well, she's she scored three in her last two, hasn't she? Yeah, she's on a bit of a roll at the minute. Um, so we're trying to make it three out of three this weekend. Uh, I've given her a bit of a prep talk throughout the week. Um, yeah, she's in a good mindset. So we'll uh, see how she goes today. So you're taking credit for her, her purple patch at the moment. Uh, you know, yeah, I think I just you know try to give her a bit of encouragement throughout the week. But I'm not going to take the credit. She's out here training uh, really hard every every day. So or a couple of days a week at least. So. I'm, I'm sure. So, all right, we're going to put you on the spot. Predictions today, it's seventh against tenth. Um, I'm going to go for Richmond wing, um, and I'm going to say 28-10 uh, to Richmond today. Um, I'd like to go for a high score line, but the weather's not great. There's been a lot of rain. Uh, it might get a bit scrappy, but uh, no, I think it should be a good one. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much, and uh, hopefully uh, they'll be able to bring home the points for you. Yeah, fingers crossed. So we've managed to grab Rachel from Worcester. Um, Rachel has just come back from injury. So how are you feeling about starting again today? Uh, a bit nervous. Um, putting starting on starting for the development team today. Obviously working back. Hopefully working back into that uh, first team shot after Christmas. A um, bit nervous, but I've done all my rehab. I've done all the bits I've needed to do to get to this point. So looking forward to it now. I just want to get out there. And so how long have you been sidelined? Uh, about six weeks with nerve damage. So um, it's been a matter of matter of just waiting not being able to do anything yeah. because it's one of those those injuries but actually my medical team have done really well in making sure I've got the right rehab to to get myself better and stronger amazing and did, did you pick up the the nerve damage during a game or yeah, training? during a game um just hyper extended my elbow so a little bit a bit sore but you know back at it now so yeah. looking forward to it nice nice and you'll be t cheering on the first team then in their clash with Richmond as well today yeah. predictions I think it's going to be a good game. Yeah. Um, forwards look strong both sides, so I think that's where the clash is going to be. Um, we just need to front up, um, not give them any breathing room, and obviously have the ball to win. Yeah. Okay. Would you be willing to give a scoreline prediction? No. I think it's going to be close yeah. either way. Yeah. Um, a a good point. game. We're yeah, a good, good game. Yeah. Good game. Couple of points in it either way. Yeah. Hopefully we're on the better side of it. Yeah. Today. Okay. So hopefully Worcester could pick up their first win of the season today. That would be wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great. Thanks for talking to Thank us. Thank you. OK, right, we've got some uh, Worcester slash Richmond fans, I understand. <laughs> so, what, what's your name? Tracy. And Michael. Michael, right, so just a bit of a background. You, you're both supporting Worcester, Worcester yeah. but I understand you're from around these parts. No, I used to play for Richmond years ago. OK. Yeah, so... As a winger, right? You've got it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, how come you're both supporting Worcester here today, then? My daughter's at uni at Worcester, so she plays for Worcester Valkyries as well. And uh, can I ask, I need to ask which one, which, uh, which player is she? Lauren Leatherland. Lauren Leatherland, okay. So you, you must have been following her quite a bit this season. We have, yes, travelling up and down the country. Now obviously they've not done so well this season. What, what has been the problem at Worcester? Uh, it's, it's little things, a little bit of naivety at times. Uh, relaxing when they're under pressure sometimes. But they, you can see them getting better and better every game. And that's the good thing. Sure. So uh, hopefully today they'll be a lot more competitive than they were against Richmond last time. Uh, unlucky against Waterloo, I would say. A better, a better team on the day without a little bit. I'd say that as a parent, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so hopefully it'll be a good game today. No bias whatsoever. No. no, no. <laughs> In all honesty, you know, you, you talk about improvement and. Um, you know, there was. It wasn't that long ago. There were a couple of games before that they only lost by, you know, yeah. one or two points. Yeah. So, what do you think has been the change? Obviously, the, the start of the season wasn't great. What's helped them progress over the last couple of weeks? I think that uh, they're getting together as a team. They're starting to play together as a team. You can see there's more cohesion in their play. They're starting to talk to each other more, which helps them out. Do you think the likes of Alex Callender, uh, Beck Clough, do you think they'll make a difference? Definitely. Their experience is going to count, along with uh, the other internationals that Valkyries have got. Is definitely going to make a difference to the younger players and bring them on. And that's the idea of this uh, uh, league, isn't it? To bring younger players on. And that's what hopefully they'll do this season with Valkyries. Absolutely. So, quick question, I guess, nice and easy. Who's going to win today? Hopefully Valkyries. 
<laughs> Hopefully, Hopefully he's brilliant. Is, yeah. And last question for you, I guess, as a, as a former player yourself, um, women's rugby is, is getting more and more exposure. Why, why do you think um, that is? Uh, and secondly, why do you think it's important that sort of those who maybe aren't fans of rugby or particularly women's rugby take more notice in the game and watch the game more? Uh, I think it's getting more exposure because there's more people playing it. And if more people are playing it, more parents are going to watch it, more parents are taking their girls, they're enjoying it. And as they say for blokes, there's a place for every person of every size. There is for the ladies as well.